Okay, in this video I want to show you how to set up a shape file and in this case it'll be a line file that we can use to map some faults. So I'm here in ArcMap um, on my apps. This is ArcMap 10. So I'm going to go ahead and add the file from our class. Okay, so this place is a piece of the San Andreas Fault in Southern California. It's a rectified uh, map from the U.S. Geological Survey. If you look in the lower right, you can see the coordinate system uh, is indicated. Since there's meters, we know it um, looks like it's working. If we right-click on Layers, Properties, um, Coordinate System, we see, oh, okay, Albers Conical Equal Area. So something we haven't been using as much compared to the UTM, but nevertheless okay. Right, so <clears throat> the main way we set up to prepare a shapefile is using the ARC catalog and so you can think of this as, as a way of going into the databases associated with ArcGIS through literally through kind of a filing cabinet and um, it uh, lets us build the files and prepare the databases prior to using them in ArcMap. So if we go here to our, uh, I've made a connection to Lecture 20, where our class demo is for today. And inside here, if I click on the file itself, folder itself, and then I say new, what we're going to make is a shape file. We could make one of the geo databases, but for simplicity, for kind of the easiest way to get started, let's make a shape file, which is a file a type that contains points, lines, or polygons, and these are, have a s attribution associated with them. So let's give this a, a name and say uh, fault, uh, fault mapping. And the feature type is polyline. That just means it has a, it's a line with vertices. We'll say OK. It says unknown spatial reference. That's fine. But now let's go in and right click on it. and uh, uh, modify some properties. So, first thing we'll do is click on the XY coordinate system and tell it what its projection is. Since there's nothing in it, let's go ahead and use the coordinate system that the uh, image that on which we're going to digitize already has. So, instead of selecting where you could define it, we're just going to import. And this is really good strategy in many cases when you already have a file with a good projection that you like. So, you just click on it on the existing file and say add. And what this does is it reaches in and grabs the metadata about that file and associates it with our new file. So let's say apply. Now for fields, this is the it's kind of like a little spreadsheet that's associated with our lines that we're going to draw. And so we can but we need to make the fields in advance. So let's just say we have a, f a field here which we're going to just call fault type and it doesn't like to have gaps in there and you could call the field name anything but let's just say fault type and the data type you have to specify so we'll say it's at, uh, text so we're gonna say fault type normal whatever uh, but you could put numbers here you just have to say what type of information will go in there and so we say okay 